In Davos, Switzerland, the World Economic Forum's 45th annual conference will host more than 1,500 leaders of business and organizations, as well as high-profile heads of state. The list runs from China's Li Keqiang to Germany's Angela Merkel to Al Gore. The agenda this week focuses on the new global context with issues such as climate change and the future of the Internet at the fore. However, the International Monetary Fund's Tuesday announcement that it had reduced its global growth forecast from 3.8 to 3.5 percent will certainly take center stage. By and large, business leaders are not content with prospects for growth in 2015, and the annual Edelman Trust Barometer shows a major drop in trust in public and private institutions, below 50 percent in two-thirds of countries, according to the Reuters report. Welcome. As well, a WEF survey suggests that geopolitical fears are front and center, even if most stock markets aren't feeling the weight yet. Indeed, material fortunes shifted significantly last year and may continue to turn. Central this week as well is Oxfam's effort to push inequality onto the agenda, as they did last year. The anti-poverty organization released a study this week showing that more than half of the world's wealth will be in the hands of 1% of people by 2016. The organization is on the same page as Oxfam. Indeed, Oxfam's executive director is co-chairing the conference in Davos, which runs until Saturday.